Hello viewers, I welcome you once again and today I want us to learn how to create a business card. Very simple one and very easy. So just follow me carefully and please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment and click on the notification bell to select all so that you receive alerts of any new video that you upload. So let's go straight to the design. First of all, you have to choose the size of the business card. And uh, they have a default one here. We come to page size. Then uh, they have a business card there. Here is it. Yeah, so this is the business card. And the size is um, 3.5 by 2.0. 3.5 by 2.0. So let's get straight the design first of all let's type my company name yes, on my desk okay let me just it on my desk and uh, my my telephone number yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. and uh, what again email and uh, what again I say the um, the address this box. Box. The VR. VR. Select all, reduce the size, you change the size from here as a font size. Yeah. So, company name, telephone, email, address. Okay, now that is design. And put this thing aside. Now let me take the rectangular two and then I draw something here. And let me see the color I want so that I fill in the color. this one um, okay this is my color so you see if you zoom it you see that the shape that I've drawn has a border a black line border I don't want it so I have to come here I think I've already show you in my video you come here that is good to none. It's gone. Now, I want to work on this ship that I've drawn. I want to reconstruct it uh, to create a different ship. So, I will come here. I'll take this one, ship two. This one, like I told you, is for shaping and other stuff so you click on and before you can use the shape tool to work on any shape the sh that shape must be converted so you right click 
on the ship that you have drawn then you click on convert to caves convert to caves here now you can work on it so i hold here then press the control key and i drag you to the right side i click here i right click i said two caves so to give me two arrows to control it to wherever i want this one back a little bit good now let me draw something again freehand two double click and join it The ship tool, I double click, I stretch it to this place. Let me fill link up. okay. It's okay. Like this. I click here. Here is convert to curve. That's the shortcut. fill in color see this one is on top after this one is on top and it has to go behind this uh, shape I, I drew so you right click you select you right click you go to order to back of page see so it has went behind now I want to remove the outline you click on you come here outline with none it's gone let me reduce the page small And again with the free hand to click here click in the middle convert to case I'm working on it again to so give it another color the first one I have to send it back behind this object so right click order back to page and I remove the outline this color is too light for me let me increase it a bit Now, 
let me arrange my test i put a company name here it has gone back so i have to bring it in front the same thing right click order front of page let's come here prefer putting my company name here I want to change the typeface you select you come here uh, select you come here then you scroll through With the help of the arrow key the down or up arrow key see the font is changing so when you get to the one you want you press enter I think I prefer this one. And I want to fill in with the white color. Yeah. Company name. Let's see. And then let me put in my service. Services that I do design. Um, design. Let's say design printing. touch here the edges here and reduce it choice so any heart that you want it let me change the font here also oh, I can prefer to leave it um, let me leave it this one is okay okay let me bring design and what is the inside To design, I take the free hand too. Um, zoom for you to see. Free hand too. I click here. I stretch it here. Then press the control key. Then I click here and I leave it. I get a straight line. Let me increase the line some more. Good. I'll give it a color and when you want to give a line color 
in Cora Draw, you right click the bottom of the mouse, you right click like this. It's right click, not the left click, it's the right button. You click on the right button. Good. Now, let me bring it here some more. Okay, let me do this size. Okay. Then I take the transparent tool and drag it to this place to make this end transparent. Yeah. To start from this end, the right hand side. Good. Now, let me copy it to this place. The left hand to do the same thing. select all then you come here group I group it so that I can move the two together good this is small now let me arrange the rest of the Test. I want to get it straight. So I want it to align left. So I put uh, the ruler here. The ruler is also the guideline. I put it here so that I will arrange it straight. So let me put my telephone here. Telephone number. Let me put it here. Put my email. Put my address. Okay, let me delete this one and select all and bring it here. And I prefer representing the telephone number, email address, and the address with a symbol. So I think I have symbols here for those items. I think I have some here. icons. Yeah, I think I have. Uh, let me use this one for address, telephone, I think it's a WhatsApp also. Then you import. Good. Yeah, this is the page. And this is the sizes. sizes put it on the proper place now let me zoom so the telephone I put this one here one here to represent the address and the email I don't think anything to represent email okay now let me go down
here again you go to import that is the shortcut import um, email 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 let me choose this one for my email Person's name. Person's name. Um, italic this underline but I don't want to underline I want to bold it and I italize it stretch it a bit right here and then put his position this color I want to fill it with this color so I click on the color eyedropper tool and I pick the color I pick the color here then I put it inside here yeah. and reduce the page and see the design if you want to preview the whole design so first of all, once we are finished designing, we have to group it. So um, let me group it so that everything will be grouped together. You select all, including the page. You select all. Then you come here, group together. So now. So um, let me let me preview the whole thing for you to see how it is. You come to 
um, you come to view you click on view then you click on full screen wow let me reduce it some more so that you see it well I don't want it to fill the page let me reduce it some more yeah F9 then you come to um yes this is it it's very simple very simple as you can see it's very simple so viewers we will end here on how to design a business card i hope you love it please subscribe and don't forget to share comment like and press the notification bell thank you for joining me and look forward for the next video bye bye